One of the things that makes my channel unique is that it's a way for people across the world to be able to talk about DNA tests. So my channel is so interactive, as you can see in the comment section, I will prove this by reading a comment that I received today and sharing with everyone else because this will become this video, what this is about. So let's check this out. I made a video called My Heritage DNA Tests. Everyone is Finnish and or Nigerian. And so I made a video basically asking, if like me, you went through My Heritage, why are you so likely to either have Finnish DNA or Nigerian DNA, or maybe even both? Why is that? So if you want to check out that video, you can. But here's a comment I received today from Win Win. Quote, it makes a lot of sense why Finnish DNA can be tracked easier than DNA from other European regions. Due to a historically long isolation period, their DNA is very unique and therefore easier to identify in DNA tests. Later, Finland was part of Sweden as well as part of Russia, and many Finns migrated to Sweden, and quite a few migrated to the United States in the 1600s and 1700s as well, which may explain why the genes can be found in different areas. As for Nigeria, I do not know, but please keep in mind these DNA tests only give a very broad estimates. And there's always some variation depending on the algorithms and databases, end quote. So let's just talk about that for a moment. You know, I, I've been very clear in my videos before that I understand that with these DNA tests, it's not a sure thing. It's not, you can figure out exactly, are, are they 100% accurate? Of course not. And I myself don't go into it assuming that. I can tell you this based on my, my heritage and my own family. I know that my test, and if you want to see what my results were, you just watch the channel for this trailer and you'll see me do a breakdown of that. But it, it backed up what I know is true based on my grandparents immigrating there uh, from their countries to where they landed here in America and based on the ethnic mixing that was going on in those places where they came from, Italy and Mexico. So it all makes sense to me. With that being said, I definitely understand there, there's this concept of genetic markers. As far as where these samples come from, they're doing their best to get these samples from people who are, in in theory, 100% of whatever that is, whether it's Italian or whether it's Native American and those sort of things. That's why, you know, and I've made a video too, so many Americans believe that they're part Native American and they've always been told that, but then they get their test results and then they're, they're disappointed because and my psychological uh, interpretation is white Americans want to believe that they have part native DNA in them because it makes them feel less guilty of regarding the history uh, of America. Like even me, my hometown, Fort Payne, Alabama. Well, uh, even today, someone asked me, oh, is that a military base? I'm like, no, actually, if you go to the park downtown Fort Payne, where I'm from, you'll see the story. And basically what happened was all the Cherokee Indians, the Native Americans that hadn't left yet, there was uh, a military general uh, in charge of rounding them all up and sending them on the Trail of Tears. And his last name was Payne, and they named it Fort Payne after him to honor him. So it's stories like that that make us feel bad about that. And we wanna believe that we're part Native American so it makes us somehow subconsciously feel less guilty about it. You know, the whole concept. So going back to this idea of, of this Finnish DNA, it makes sense though, when you have a nation that is so isolated, comparatively speaking to let's say Spain or Italy, where I've got, you know, ancestry that goes back to, it makes sense that that DNA was more protected, more contained within itself, even if for no other reason, the geography of it. That totally makes sense uh, to me. So what a, what a great uh, explanation of why on my heritage that they're banking so big on everyone being part Nigerian or part, uh, part uh, Finnish, having that Finnish DNA in there. Uh, you know, and if anyone wants to take the mic from here and, and let's explore further why it is Nigerian DNA that, sh that is showing up more so than another African country, you know, is there some reason why Nigerian DNA is less mixed with other genetic markers? So 
that's probably the best way to end this video with a to be continued and I'll let you take it from there and anything else you want to add on this. But I definitely enjoy talking about DNA test results. In particular for me, my heritage because that's where I went through. Thanks for watching this video and most importantly, thanks for what you're about to say right here.